Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Aiden, from Cartoon Apocalypse, and today, Catalyst came out for Miraculous Ladybug. If you haven't seen it, it's so good. This is probably my favorite episode so far. I, I oh my gosh, I cannot wait for the second part, because really, we're just getting started with this, like, two-part special. Oh my gosh, it's so amazing. If you're interested to when the second part will come out, I have a video, link will be down in the description below, made it a couple days ago. In that video I just explained like when it's coming and the p couple possible dates that it could be coming. And if you want to stay updated on like stuff like when the new episodes will come out, I would recommend subscribing because I cover all the news that we hear of on this channel. So if you're really into Miraculous and you want to know when the next date is coming out, I would go ahead and subscribe. But oh my gosh, this episode is so good. I, I just wish we had it in an English dub because that would have made it so much better. But even just in the English subtitles, it oh, this this whole thing, this whole idea that Hawkmoth had, it's I didn't exactly expect it. I, the, I I had expected something a little bit different, and I'll talk about like what I had expected. But just this episode was so amazing. Again, spoilers if you haven't seen the episode, I totally recommend going to watch it because uh, it's just so good. Like I would just watch the entire show just to get to this one episode. That's how good it was. So I guess let's just dive right into the analysis, I guess. There's just like some certain points to talk about. I'm obviously not going to go like frame by frame and talk about this or that, but I'll just be talking about like the main points. So pretty much Heroes Day is the day where everyone does a good deed for everyone and just things like that. And of course Marinette with her ladybug duties just kind of forgot about it or just didn't have enough time to prepare anything, but luckily her parents made her some macaroons. But then, in class, she was like, oh, well, I can make a whole feast of treats for the whole entire school. Which, obviously, she couldn't do, so she was getting a little bit overwhelmed. And, uh, that's not really too important right now. It'll probably be more important in the second episode. But I just wanted to give a little bit of backstory to the very beginning part of the episode. Because that's pretty much the beginning part of the episode. So pretty much this whole beginning half of the episode is all pretty much focused around Lila. Now she was the Volapina, or like the Rena Rouge now. She was the fake that happened in season two, but she despises Ladybug. She hates everything about her, and she's just making up lies. She's a huge liar, and she was just making up a bunch of lies. Like she was like, oh, well, I'm in this super cool, nice place, when obviously she was just in Paris, she was actually at Paris still, and she was just lying to her mother about all these akumatizations. I don't even know how she got away with it, but she was just making up a bunch of lies and stuff. So eventually Lila just gets mad enough to where Hawkmoth is like, alright, it's go time, because this was all part of his plan. Everything that happens in this episode is all according to plan from what Hawkmoth was like, alright, let's do this. So this is all just going really well for Hawkmoth, except for there's this one minor detail that he didn't expect but we'll talk about that when we get there. So Hawkmoth akumatizes Lila into Volapina again, and pretty much she makes it look like Cat Noir and Ladybug are fighting. She makes it look like Ladybug was akumatized, which everyone in the show was just like, oh my gosh, and so Volapina just makes it look like they're fighting on top of the big balloons that the superheroes had, and eventually Cat Noir uses his cataclysm, and then the fake Ladybug was like, all right, well, why don't you cataclysm yourself? So she grabs his arm and makes him use his cataclysm on himself, which freaks everybody out. Like, just imagine seeing, like, one of your superhero idols be melted, like, in ashes and stuff. It, it, I don't know how we how to even describe it. It's just, just imagine that happening. That would be, like, the worst feeling. And everybody from this just gets so sad. And this is what Hawkmoth wanted. Hawkmoth wanted every single person in the city to feel sad. Now this next part here, we actually learn of some new powers Hawkmoth can do. Hawkmoth can choose when to take the powers away from the humans, which we actually knew that, but this is the first time we're seeing it in action. And then the other thing that we saw him do is unakumatize the butterfly, which we didn't know he could do. We thought only Ladybug could do it, but I mean, it makes sense that he could do it, but it's just cool to see him using these powers that we've never seen before. So now we're on to my favorite part in this episode, the part that everybody was like, oh my gosh, this just this whole part right here is just so good and so thought out, like it's more in depth than I thought it would be. 
What I thought was going to happen is Hawk Moth would akumatize Natalie into Catalyst, and then Catalyst would go around akumatizing other people. But no, that's not what happened. Hawk Moth akumatized Catalyst and gave her the power of his, pretty much. And then Catalyst akumatized Hawk Moth with the power to akumatize as many people as they want. And this is just crazy because now we have essentially two Hawk Moths that can do the exact same thing. Except it's not exactly like that. We don't exactly know like the differences between Catalyst and Hawk Moth. Or in this version it's called Scarlet Hawk Moth. <laughs> But this plan is just so thought out and so good. I, I love it. I love how they executed it. And I, ah, man, I just love the way that this played out. So here's what this means for the second part of this like two part special. If Hawk Moth gets defeated, which I'm pretty sure it's inevitable that he will. But if he gets defeated, Catalyst is still out there. And if this is set up the way I think it's set up, Hawk Moth is just spreading Catalyst's power. It may not be set up that way, but I think it would be super cool if Catalyst was like the main source, but then Hawk Moth was just distributing her power. So if Hawk Moth gets defeated, then everybody who is still akumatized might not be akumatized anymore, but may still be akumatized because Hawk Moth was just spreading the virus while Catalyst was just the source. So I think what's going to end up happening here is that the heroes are going to realize that Hawk Moth isn't like the direct source, so they're just gonna go straight to Catalyst, and once they defeat Catalyst, then all of this huge Empire stuff falls apart. It's like, Catalyst is the base, and then she built on Hawk Moth, and then Hawk Moth built on just more things, but once you take out that base, the whole building comes crashing down, so I feel like that's what's gonna go on in this episode. I'm sorry if I just ruined it, because it makes so much sense, and now you know exactly what's gonna happen. <laughs> But I feel like that's just how it's going to go out. And I still do feel like Myra is going to end up being Natalie just because that makes the most sense. I made a video on that a couple days ago. If you're interested in seeing why I think that makes sense and if the reveal is going to be happening. Also, speaking of reveals, Alia and Nino know each other's like identities. And that's super cool because Alia already knew that Nino was Carapace. So it was pretty much confirmed in this episode, which kind of annoys me. I made a rant video on it. But now Nino knows that Alia is Rena Rouge, which I don't know exactly how this is going to be. They're, they might like poke fun at each other for it in season three. I don't exactly know. But this is super cool to see that there was like a reveal of some kind in this episode. Do I think that Ladybug and Cat Noir will be making a reveal? No. But just seeing Alia and Nino gives me that satisfaction of a reveal, which... I'm fine with the Ladybug and Cat Noir one being postponed until later notice. So now let's kind of like skip around. I'm just going to be talking about more important parts, I guess. The one part that Hawk Moth didn't expect the Ladybug to find out, and honestly, I didn't expect Ladybug to figure out, but she was being followed when she was going to Master Fu. I didn't think Ladybug would suspect anything, but in reality, she did. So Sabrina was actually akumatized to be the invisible person again which obviously everyone who was akumatized just got akumatized into themselves again what they were previously in the episodes but there are some minor changes just because it's scarlet hawk moth now instead of just regular hawk moth so everyone has just this little red theme going on for them but ladybug suspected that sabrina was going to be following her somehow but she ended up unakumatizing her and then was just pretty cool about it i guess but she ended up getting to master food just fine and Master Fu doesn't look too happy about this, he looks pretty worried about it. But Marinette ends up taking the three, obviously. And here's what's interesting for the future. I believe that Ladybug is actually just going to be keeping these Miraculouses out in circulation. I don't think she's going to be taking them back. She might end up taking them back, but I feel like this is going to be a sign to Ladybug and Master Fu to keep the Miraculouses out. Because with Myra out, they're just going to have more and more commentizations and they're just going to need to be out there in the open, ready to be used whenever needed. But the episode ends with Hawk Moth out in the open on the Eiffel Tower, along with his army, and then the heroes are across from him pretty much, and this just sets up the classic big battle. And just the next episode is just going to be so great, because it's going to have so much action in it, and I just can't wait for it.
But anyway, guys, I think that's going to be it. I think I talked about most of the important stuff in this episode. Obviously, I couldn't go by everything in the episode because this video would be so much longer. But I think that's going to wrap it up for this video, and I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.